So originally I had a video planned out about the flatline and how it's one of the standout weapons, in my opinion, and some of the statements I've made about it potentially being the strongest gun in Apex Legends. However, if you've been paying attention to the land of social media, then you may have been seeing the amount of people that are arguing back and forth about how strong aim assist is in Apex Legends and if it needs to be nerfed prior to the game releasing crossplay. And to me, I feel like this as a controller player is a topic that I can talk about because I have a unique view on the situation that most people don't seem to want to actually admit. So today I actually want to go over aim assist rather than the intended VK47 flatline video, which probably will still get done at some point. But today aim assist is definitely something we need to talk about. And obviously there is not a ton of aim assist using players in the pro scene but there is a growing number of controller players on PC. And the fact is, until next gen comes out with the 144 hertz capable consoles, which I do believe Xbox One uh, X actually is capable of 120, then we really won't see people avoiding console for that benefit. And crossplay will be way more equalized in terms of benefits. And we'll go over those benefits as well. However, if you enjoy the channel and its content, how about taking the time to like this video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. And guys, the giveaway this month is coming up to a close pretty soon. So if you want to get your last ditch efforts in so that you can be the grand prize winner of 4,350 Apex coins or one of the two runner ups that will walk away with 2,150 Apex coins, check the link in the description to the Pwnhub.live website where you will find the giveaway with multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries that will help you increase your odds of winning if you want to use them. But let's get into the two today's content, which is aim assist and somewhat cross play. What will happen with cross play? Because obviously aim assist versus aim assist. There's no real reason to argue that point. Like everybody has it on console when they're playing against each other. And in the current state of Apex Legends with not being allowed to use a um, mouse and keyboard like you actually can in Fortnite on console. Uh, it, it is a bit, it is a bit of a different scenario there, and not really a topic to be discussed today. So today we're going to actually be focusing more on the situation of how strong aim assist is on PC comparatively to console, and so on and so forth. But we'll also be taking a look at a few other things. Obviously, we we just won't be talking about console versus console right now because I do feel like Xbox and PlayStation are going to be fairly even, except. Prior to, if we were to get crossplay prior to the release of the next gen consoles, Xbox One X actually has a significant advantage against the PS4 Pro. In that the PS4 Pro can, yes, it can put out 4K and it looks great. It cannot put out 1080p 120 hertz like the Xbox One X. And I believe potentially the slim models. I'd have to look more into that to be sure. But I do know. That there is capable of over 120 hertz on the xbox one x so with that being said aim assist is the real advantage that people will have according to pc players that get beat by aim assist now the situation here is aim assist probably feels way different to a pro player playing against somebody like you know snipe down if you're playing against snipe down one of the best console gamers of all time literally one of the best gamers of all time by that you know rationale actually then you, there's it's not you we're not talking about the same thing if a gun is insanely overpowered in the best player's hands but the average joe can't use it for even like a mo like moderately as well as, then is that gun actually overpowered or are you just making, you know, mountains out of anthills? You know, it, uh, that's that's what I would think the actual situation is. And I would tell you that going up against a pro player 
on a controller or a keyboard is going to, you know, it doesn't matter what they're using. It's they're going to beat me. And I'm sure that, you know, some people out there that play on console right now may be good enough to destroy pro players. And that's what crossplay is going to allow us to have. Now, there has been a debate where even the developers are getting involved in like bickering back and forth about the situation with crossplay and aim assist. As we've had them discuss before, they do not approve of aim assist or of keyboard and mouse on console. And because of that, it's always been a weird thing that they they approve of controller on PC to me. But the aim assist that we have on console is actually substantially different than what you get on PC. And if you're a player like me that actually swaps back and forth between the games on PC and PlayStation, then you'll actually know what I'm talking about. And that when you switch games in general, like if we were to switch on PlayStation between Call of Duty and Apex, you're going to, the way that you have aim assist and the way the game functions is completely different in terms of that you know aim assist feeling and you guys know what i'm talking about to play different games when you get a feeling that while it might look like a smooth 60 frames per second animation in a stream or in a video there's that clunky feeling games and stuff like that they just don't feel right when you're playing them and aim assist is something that you have to feel and it, you have to be kind of honest about when you're speaking about it and I do not think there is anything that needs to be done to the consoles that would make aim assist feel any any better or make it any more fair for the PC crowd. What I can tell you is that the hip fire in particular on PC as when the controller plugged in, I don't even feel like I have to aim at you. I feel like it it, it is that almost soft lock aiming on you for me. And that is where I think the pro players are coming up with the biggest problem with aim assist. Now, aim assist is necessary. If you've ever tried to play a game without aim assist on, it is almost impossible. And it is one of the most miserable things that you will ever experience in your life. Now, some games can be made to work without aim assist by slowing the game down so that you can't have that, you know, snappy movement that we would have in Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Fortnite, uh, you know, just any of the arcade or uh, arena style shooters that would that have made it to the battle royal genre. Even Halo, for instance, would be a great example of that really tight, fast movement that without aim assist would be nearly impossible to play. So I do think that there is something to be said about that situation with aim assist on pc in particular and then on console being uh, quite a bit different and this game in particular needing aim assist to be on for it to be viable but you know what else is pretty viable guys is the sponsor for today's video and that is our own merch site that's right the ipone hub awesome gear here and if you want to check out any of that stuff there's some level four legendary shields for you there waiting and uh, yeah, everything is awesome. So if you want to check it out, do that. And don't forget, guys, to stay in touch on social media where you can find out pretty much everything we have going on in the Pone Hub land. And obviously, with the giveaway link, if you haven't figured it out, we've got the website live. And with that website comes a whole bunch of new stuff, including the ability for you to post some gameplays that will get promoted here live on the channel. And there's an entire post for you to check out about that on the forums if you feel inclined to. And you will be featured just like Drop Dead here in this video and get all of your links put in the description and in the comment so that you can get some promotion and potentially be the next Apex Legends youtube star or twitch star who knows where the floop troop could take you they are awesome and you already know it being one of them so just keep that in mind as you uh you know think about joining the forums and being active over there because uh i think it's a good idea but yeah guys i mean there's really not too much to talk about here you know, aim assist is necessary it is slightly different on pc than it is on the consoles and I do play all three platforms currently. 
and can confirm without you know feeling shameful that it does feel quite a bit different so i would say try it out for yourself go back and forth between platforms and just try to be unbiased and feel what you see you know like let, let, don't be like i like controller i like keyboard and mouse just straight up be like the truth does it feel different to you i would almost guarantee you that even the sensitivity feels slightly different to you on pc than it does on console but guys don't forget the twitch channel where we hang out and go live and do a bunch of giveaways stuff like that it's a great way to hang out and uh, be part of the much smaller live community that we have going on but uh yeah like i said really not much more to talk about in this video except uh this massive 13 kill w that drop has uh dropped for us there wild right but guys here is two videos you can check out if you feel so inclined and i appreciate you watching and liking the video i hope that you're staying safe healthy and doing your part out there with everything that we have going on in the world but uh for me to you guys as always have a good one